lot of people don't even realize the FBI has an operational medicine program. Every one of our medics at Washington Field and throughout the FBI uh, have regular cases that they work. They're FBI agents first, they're case agents first, they work their cases, but then when we have a mission that comes up, they, uh, they step out of that role as case agent, step into the role as a medic, and they'll deploy as that medic. My name is Doug Mole. I'm the Operational Medical Coordinator of Washington Field Office, which means I'm the, the lead paramedic for Washington Field. The FBI has a class called the Tactical Applications of the Emergency Medical Technician, and it's where we take street EMTs and paramedics and we turn them into tactical EMTs and paramedics. For this training exercise, what we wanted to do is make it real life from real life situations so the agent medics are going to be treating someone with chest pain. It's going to be a scenario where someone's in the office having chest pain. Or a dive mission where the person comes up from uh, a dive and they're a little lightheaded and they're not answering questions appropriately. But we have a car crash scenario because a lot of times agents will be driving to from work and come across a car crash. So we want to make sure that they know not only how to deal with the patient, but how to position their car uh, safe. First, I'm just going to kind of position his airway the best I can. Okay. What, uh, what maneuver do you want to use for that? Uh, we have an allergic reaction scenario where we are trained to look for anaphylaxis, which is a, a severe allergic reaction. We do have one traumatic situation. We spend so much time on trauma as tactical medics that for this training exercise, we want to focus a lot on the medical. Medical calls are a lot harder than traumatic calls. Because trauma, if you break your arm, I can see that you broke your arm. For internal bleeding, for a heart attack, I can't see what's going on. So it all comes down to being an investigator, asking the right questions, and being able to get the right answers, and then interpret what those answers mean. Circulation, airway breathing, good chest compressions, basic airway management, put an AED on, and call for help. So as tactical medics, you have a lot more equipment that you need to carry with you. So you'll have your belt with your firearm on it, your extra magazines. Uh, you may have a long gun attached to you. You'll have a ballistic vest. You may have plates. You may have a helmet. You'll have um, goggles on. Uh, you may have hearing protection on, so it's hard to hear around you. So there's a lot of other distractions that you have just from a physical standpoint, lugging all that stuff around, weighing an extra 30 pounds. Now kneeling over a patient, sometimes we need to remind them that if it's not a tactical environment, if there are no bullets being placed downrange, they can take their vest off, they can take their helmet off, so they can render care more comfortably because if they're having trouble doing CPR with their vest on, uh, they're not going to do what's in the best interest of that patient. And then at the end of the day, we're going to do a helicopter exercise where we usually stop our scenarios at the point we load someone into the helicopter. We want to train our people how to actually load into the helicopter. We're going to put them in the helicopter and show them how difficult it is to render care in a confined space where you can't hear anything, where it's moving, it's vibrating, and have them think with all those distractions around them. We have a diverse background of people interested in the, the OpMed program. At minimum, each SWAT team needs to have one EMT basic. Some divisions have more than one. Some divisions have two. Some divisions have 12. Some divisions have over 20. Washington Field has seven paramedics, um, two of which are advanced capability paramedics. And then we have 15 basic EMTs. Um, we have people from uh, regular street agents that want to be in the medic program with no medical experience whatsoever. We're just looking for people that are motivated, that want to go above and beyond what they normally do. Um, we'll teach them the medical part. Uh, that's no problem. But we want people that are motivated to go out, be able to deal with pressure, um, work in stressful situations, and be able to adapt.